What's up guys, it's Ocean here, and today I have my beautiful sister, Kali Kaneko. She's a culinary teacher at Honokawa High School. Go Dragons! It's so embarrassing. And today, we're making a country flavor Portuguese sausage spring roll. Let's get started. Today we're featuring country flavors. Portuguese sausage mix. It's their famous Portuguese sausage, but just the mix without the casing. It's run by a family, the Sanchez Ohana from Waimea. We love their products, we love the family, we really love the sausage. A lot of you guys have been asking us for a recipe with this sausage mix. We were inspired by the Sanchez Ohana and we're gonna make Portuguese sausage spring rolls. For this recipe, you will need eight ounces of Portuguese sausage mix, four ounces of cabbage sliced, four ounces of mung beans, one pack of spring roll pastry wraps, one egg, beaten for the egg wash, and canola oil for deep frying. So I got my pan on the stove, medium heat. We're gonna start by adding our Portuguese sausage mixture. So, Ocean's not adding any oil into the pan when he's sauteing the sausage mix because there's a lot of oil that comes out of the sausage mix when you start cooking it. So right now, I'm just cooking. I'm just trying to break all the meat apart because you don't want it in big chunks. Make sure you brown it nice and well so there's no raw meat in there. Gosh, so you want to brown your pork mixture until it's almost about fully cooked. And then you're going to add in your mung beans and you're going to add in your cabbage. And today we're using Lone Palms mung beans and Hiriyama Farms cabbage. Cabbage, we cut it up into just looking like shredded pieces. Be careful of the oil. And you want to get that all nice and incorporated and cook it down until the cabbage and the mung beans are to a nice and soft, tender texture. So we're going to turn off our heat. Grease it off to one side. And we're going to put it into our bowl. We're gonna let it cool for just a little bit before we start wrapping it. So now that we have the mix and it's cool to the touch, we're gonna start the rolling process. So you can go to any of your local stores and just pick up a package of your spring roll wrappers. Um, you're gonna have one each, one paper per spring roll. We're gonna grab a tablespoon. You're gonna scoop maybe about two to three, depending on how big your spoon is, and putting it right in the middle of your wrapper. Also depends on if you like a lot of filling or not, but I've learned if you put too much filling, your wrapper might break. So once you've got that in there, you're gonna take the corner that's closest to you and put it over your pile. Kind of tuck it in like that, yep. And then you're gonna start rolling just a little bit and then take your two sides, left and right, Fold it in so you look like you got a little envelope going on. Cool, and then now just keep wrapping forward. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Tuck your sides in as you're going. Then when you get to about this part like this, get a little bit of egg wash. One egg will do. Just a little bit. Stick your finger in there and just put it on the top corner and keep your paper tight as you roll, and then you got your spring roll. So you want a nice tight wrap when you're making your spring rolls, but keep in mind that the spring roll wrappers are very delicate, so you might want to just be careful when you're using them. Um, and if you prefer, you can also use lumpia wrappers, whichever your preference is. I'm going to let Kaui finish wrapping the rest of these spring rolls, but since we already have some done, I got a pot on the stove, it has about two inches of oil, and I have it on medium heat. Once it's hot, we're going to fry these spring rolls until they're cold. Be careful not to drop it, there's going to be a little bit of a sizzle. So we're just about there. It's almost golden brown. Um, remember that we already cooked the Portuguese sausage mix, so this is more just to brown your wrapper and to get it nice and golden. 
A tip that we can share with you guys is putting your spring rolls on a baker's wrap like this and putting a paper towel underneath of it. It helps it from making your spring rolls saturated and soft on one side and it helps drain the oil and the paper towel will catch your oil for you. Oh, those are beautiful. Thank you. So just let the excess oil drip off and then the rest should be caught on the paper towel. Smells delicious. For the dipping sauce, you need 1 fourth cup of sweet chili sauce, 1 fourth teaspoon of patisse or fish sauce, and 1 tablespoon of minced cilantro. You got the sweet chili sauce that gives it a little bit of sweetness, you got the fish sauce that gives it a little bit of saltiness, and of course the cilantro will give it a fresh finish. So it's gonna look like this. Again, a big thank you to the Sanchez Ohano with their country flavor sausage. Go we'll check them out at PlainOfOcean.com. Thank you again, Kelly. You're yes. welcome.